Tutorial 89. In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to free move your parts and putting them in positions. For example, we could move this part and add this connector to the hole. And as you notice, it is not. It's not accurate and it's not very direct to to add them. So, so this way of fast assembly is just random assembly, and you don't know any references to your positioning or your parts. So now we need them to assemble them in an accurate way and here comes the job of the constraint for example now I want this disk to be parallel to some kind of planes so let's go to the constraint when you click you find the different types of constraint you have the mid, have the angle, tangent and insert so in this tutorial we're going to use the mate and here we want to be sure that that disk is parallel to the one of the planes we made, we choose so let's select that face and here in the tree the assembly origin you pick which plane you want it to be parallel to so I want it to be parallel to the y set so your disk is parallel and now you know that it is in that direction when we are done click apply so another way to make a mate for example if you made this part to this face it's going to be parallel or matching so let's click this face and this face so inventor putting two faces on each other and here you can reverse the direction and adding an offset between the two surfaces so in this case I'm not I don't need to make this mid because I want to show you how to use the mail. Just click cancel. This will be positioning in another way when we adding the connector. So it will be the next type of constraint.